So you've got a K1 Max or a K2 Plus, and it's not playing very nice with the CFS using Orca Slicer, especially you guys who did the CFS upgrade kit for the K1. Well, let me show you how to fix that. So my buddy Camaro figured this out and he has the file on his printables page. So you'll download the file just like a regular STL. Now once you have it downloaded, you'll simply bring it in just like any other print. And then you're going to get met with these prompts right here. You'll simply hit OK. It's going to change some G code. You'll hit Yes. I've already done it, but then it's going to ask you a couple of other things. So over here... As you can see, I'm using K2 Plus, but up here it has K1 Max. So you'll want to change that over here to K2 Plus, whatever nozzle you're using. And then this is going to pop up. You want to hit Save, and then you'll go ahead and save, change it from K1 Max to K2, whatever you're using. Now, if you're using K1 Max, then leave it the same. Now, one thing I noticed is even though I changed my printer up here, right down here this would stay the same so you might have to alter that as well really only thing you need to change is the name so you recognize it when you see it but now once you got it done just to test it you'll right click hit add primitive go to cube and you'll change this to whatever layer height that you're using so if you're using point 0.2 then you want to change this to point 0.2 and make sure that you do it down here on the size not the scale and you'll also want to uncheck the uniform scale then you'll right click and clone that three times. And then there you go. Now you change each one of these to a separate color in your CFS, hit slice, hit print. Now once you hit print, the only downside to this whole thing is that you can only do the upload. You can't do upload and print. You'll have to do upload and then you'll have to come over here and actually manually hit print over here for this to work. So I hope that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, you can join our brand new Discord. It's super cool. You can actually earn XP and you can trade XP for Benchy coins where you can get free products, filament, all kinds of cool stuff. So you earn XP just by chatting like you would in any other Discord. So go check it out.